Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. In this episode, we will be showing you how to make a 3x3 piston door that could have any design in it. Mostly a panda face. Yep. And, um, I just want to tell you, this is Lord Panda here today again, and, um, well, look at this. I have a new friend, and his name Chuggy, and... We're going to be making this redstone tutorial together. He makes really nice redstone tutorials, so if you're interested in redstone, make sure you check out his um, channel and hit that subscribe button. And yeah, see, right now. Yeah, like, literally right now. And yeah, continue well, watching the video after you do that. This right. isn't my design, this is Panda's design. He just yeah. wanted me to help him. Yeah. And okay. he knows a lot of redstone and stuff like that, so he probably can explain it. A lot better. Can, so. <laughs> All right. Okay. So you're going to want to start off with a 2x7 area of any block, any solid block. So that's uh, 6, 7. Now from either side, go 3 in and place a block with a lever. Now this that, center, that's going to be the input, right? And then this yeah, can be can powered be with a rest and repeater as well. Yes. So. This is going to be the input for now, but later you can have this connected to a button or a pressure plate or whatever else you want. Yeah. So now, you are going to place a repeater. Well, first of all, turn this on, actually, just so you can see how everything is working. And put this repeater on four ticks. And yeah. place a block. The repeater is powering the block, which is powering this repeater. And this sticky piston on top of here as well at the same time. Yeah, uh, put this repeater on two ticks. That's uh, one right click. Yeah. And then from this repeater, place a redstone dust. Then come up a block like that and place another redstone dust. And then go up another block like a staircase and place another redstone dust. Yeah. And repeater here, set to four ticks. Or yeah, and then Block here, redstone dust, block here again, and then another redstone dust. And that's going to power your double piston extender retraction part of it. So okay. it should look like that. Yeah, so what that does is it powers the top piston first, and then, here, want to look over here? Yeah. What it does is because this repeater is on four ticks, the top piston is being powered first, and then uh, this one's being powered because it's um, on a delay, so they're powered one after the other. Yeah. So if we check it out, it should do most of the most of the extension, and then, or it should do more of the extension. I don't, I don't understand what. Okay. For well, now, least, let's, let's for now. It's all good. Um, yeah. Now we need to build the retraction part. Yeah. So now this part is kind of interesting. Uh, Panda showed me this trick. I never actually thought to use it before, but place a lever or anything else that can uh, hold a redstone signal. So pressure plates and buttons will also work for this. Yeah. What you want to do is make the redstone go that way. You don't want it to be a redstone dot. So okay. you can place anything like that. Now you're going to want to get a dropper hopper timer, or a dropper hopper pulser. So place the dropper in the ground facing up like this, and a hopper going down into it. You press shift, you hold down shift, and you right click. So what that's going to do, so you now you're going to want to place, first, though. oh yeah, place your comparator there. The reason this is here is so the redstone signal doesn't go into that comparator. And it's supposed to, um, this redstone... Um, dust is going to be powered by a torch on top, so it's actually a um, inverse. Yeah, I'm not the rest then. Yeah. Yeah, but place one item in the hopper dropper pulser, and now from the comparator, what you want to do is a block. Uh, where did my quartz go? You put it. You put it in the dropper. Oh, okay. There it is. Uh, like that. Dang, my throat really hurts for some reason. It's okay. And on top of the hopper, you want to place a piston with an item. I mean, with a block, right? Yeah. And then another sticky piston on top of here with a block. And that's going to be 
most of your um, bevel piston extender ray. And then you just need a couple more things, right? Now place a redstone dust on the very first block, like that. Place a block there, and a torch, like that. And then this part is pretty hard to remember about, but a block on top of that redstone torch, and then a torch behind it. And yeah, that creates a um, little switch area thing, so let's just, let's just check it out if it works. And then this should do, this should do all of it. There you go. And then from this redstone torch, place a redstone. Yeah. Place a redstone there. And then go two blocks, go one block down, and then place two blocks with two redstone dust. Like that. Yeah. And this is going to be, this is going to be, um, back here, you see how it colors and everything. That's what, that's what the back pistons are for. So. Now you want a vertical wire up from this one right here. How many do we want a vertical wire? Okay. And, uh, do you want to get the top piston ready? What, um, what do you mean? You not, just just do this three, right? And then mm -hmm. I'll do, I'll do the rest. How about that? Or the rest of the wiring with this filling in everything. So what this does is when a redstone dot or just the dust going into from the back of the sticky piston. It powers all three sticky pistons, and that's pretty much what's going on here. And we're gonna have to go back here, and we're gonna have to place two sticky pistons back here. And this is good. we're gonna power this um all this sort of like this. And as you can see, both both of them should work if we give it an update, as you can see. And then um now you wanna you obviously want your top piston, yeah. So like go up two and then it should be facing downwards so be placing this block here I guess and then leaving that block and then listen listen dust right there as you can see it powers powers that sticky piston and that creates half of your half of your door block now you have to do the other side and this is a little bit a little bit more difficult to actually place let me just tower these up right um yeah Delete all that. Place that down. Oh wait. Hmm. You built it one up, didn't you? Yeah, I messed up. What? I'm confused now. I'm really confused. Okay, no, no. Uh, my bad. That's not. Redstone dust has, doesn't have to be there. That's why. Okay. All right. Sorry. <laughs> so it should be like. It should look like that. Come behind here. Up one. Over here, like so, and then. Place that, redstone dust. Wired, right? So look something like that, and then go behind here, and then double piston, and or not double piston, just two sticky pistons back there. You see, it should it should look something like that, um, and then yeah, everything should be powered except for this block here, and you want to fix that by probably going down um, two, so something like so, and then this. Oh wait, no. I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on. How's this getting powered again? Oops. Okay, so block here, redstone dust, and then there, and then go back here. That should power it, right? There we go. It looks nice. It looks beautiful. And yeah. um, give this give this sticky piston update. It should work. As you see. Oops. I. Sorry, oh, we I flicked the lever. Yeah. All right. There. Now you see it works. With, you see all the blocks gets placed in the right position and all this back here works and you can well. cover this up if you want yeah or you could have it open right Isn't now it? now we're gonna now we're gonna put the panda face in it yeah I don't know how to do that so you can yeah so I'm gonna get some of the blocks out that are required for this so um I recommend using quartz stairs or you can be anything really, but I recommend using quartz stairs and quartz blocks just to make it look more like a panda. So let's just found a door right here, right? Okay, great. Um, we also need slabs. I forgot to put that in. So let me just get that really quick. And slabs should be... Hold on, let me just delete a couple of these blocks. All right, so I can sort of see it, see what's going on here. So let's flick this out. And then let's delete that. Slab should go here. 
and then blocks should go here, and then delete this, this, and that block, those blocks. So now you want to get your staircases. This is going to be your ears right here. That's going to be your ears. And then now you're missing your eyes. Your eyes should be located around here. So stairs like so. And then, so as you can see, you got most of it done, but you need the coloring in the back. So red for the eyes. It can be blue, green, whatever you want your panda's eyes to be. I personally um, like red, and then black, black there. And then as you can see, it looks sort of like a panda, or as good as a panda could be. And then we want to cover up, I want to cover this block up, and then, yeah, that's what it looks like. And um, if you want to, to make it look less therapier, and you just want to show the mouth part, you might want to put slabs there, and then as you can see, if it opens up, it opens up fine. And then, put slabs um, here. Oops. <laughs> there we go. And then, slabs over here as well. There we go. You're all done with... That's all we have, and hopefully you enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun. Um, actually, at least I had a lot of fun doing this project. Um, and getting ready for this video. I learned a lot about Chuggy. So that was really cool. Go check out his uh, channel, and yep. yeah, he makes really awesome stuff. Uh, I just found him on YouTube, and I actually this is my first collaboration with anyone, so that's really nice. And hopefully, hopefully he can be in more of our videos. That would be nice. And make sure you comment below and say whatever you want. And Chuggy, any last words? Uh, no. <laughs> Go check out my channel. All right. You kind of caught me off guard. I was. Oh yeah, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but where's the switch? And anywhere. Um, just... Oh yeah, um, I don't know what else to say other than other than peace out and thank you for watching and go check out our other videos because you might learn something from it. Yeah.